Hi, this is Jeff Howald. When playing in a jam or in a band, you will mostly be playing chords while the other musicians are singing or playing their solos. Today we will show you two of the most popular chord forms and how to switch between them smoothly and accurately. Let's look at the two shapes we're going to use today. So we're going to start with a G chord at the 7th fret, which happens to be uh, shape 1, and you'll see a chord diagram on your screen that shows the fingerings, but very quickly the first string ninth fret will be noted with the little finger, the second string eighth fret with the middle, the third string seventh fret with the index, and the fourth string ninth fret with the ring. Okay, And just so you can practice being able to make this chord, we do what we call the shake and make method where we uh, play the chord by strumming down, we then shake it, and then we put it back. And the reason we play play the each string is just to see if it's clear. Now if you're just a beginner, this is going to take a while. This could take uh, five minutes a day for a couple weeks to be able to get clarity because your fingers are stretching and your muscles are getting used to it, okay? Now, as an intermediate step, you could make the chord, strum it, lift it up a half an inch off the fingerboard, and then place it down, okay? And you can do this while you're watching TV, okay? So that's, the, uh, that's a G chord, okay? Now the second shape we have is this shape, which once again you'll see a chord diagram, and this happens to be used for a C chord in this instance. And also, by moving it up two more frets from the C, will become a D, okay? So we're going to be playing a G, a C, a C, and a D chord. The G is the first shape, and the C and the D are the other shapes. And the purpose of this video is to be able to move between these shapes, all right? Now, so let's make the second shape, uh, which... Once again, there's a chord diagram there, but the first string 10th fret's the little finger, the second string 8th fret index, third string 9th fret with the middle, and fourth string 10th fret with the ring, okay? And once again, just make it, okay? As I said, it's going to take a little while to be able to do this. Before continuing on with this lesson, you will want to be able to make and shake each chord as we just demonstrated. So step one in switching chords is to be able to make the chords using the make and shake method, and step two is to be able to move back and forth between the two chords, which we will now discuss. Starting with the G chord, we're going to learn how to get to the C chord easily. Okay? So here's what happens. When you're going between, in this case, the G and the C, after you play the G chord, you simply lift up the index and middle fingers and you reverse them, okay? Does that make sense? Now, the second thing that's going on as you're doing that is you're leaving the little finger and the ring finger where they are, and they will be sliding. Now, you're not pressing the... the uh, strings down, you're just touching them, you're just sliding them up one fret, okay? So, you, you play the G, you start sliding, and as you're sliding, you reverse the index and middle fingers. And I'm going to do this movement several times just so you can see it. So we have G, we relax, and we slide, okay? Then we go back G to, uh, from C to G, we go... C chord, relax, reverse finger slide, okay? And that's really all it is, okay? Once again, you can practice this in front of your TV. You don't even have to play the chords. Now, when we go from the G to the D, we simply do the same exact thing we do with the C, except we're sliding up, okay? And once again, just look at your video and make sure 
that you're sliding up to this position. This uh, would put your little finger at the 12th fret first string and the ring finger at the fourth, fourth string 12th fret, okay? So here we go. So here's a D going back to G. See how that worked? Now we're going G to D, okay? I think this is really clear what we're doing. We will now practice changing between the G, C, and D chords with a metronome. We'll start at the uh, G chord and we're going to play and we're going to switch every other beat. So here we go. One, two. One, two. 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 Okay, do that again. One, two. One more time. One, two. And if you have any problems with that, just do your drill without playing until you feel comfortable changing between those chords. Now we'll go to a faster speed. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Now we'll go from the G to the D. Drill. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. We will now strum along with Going Down That Road Feeling Bad, which uses G, C, and D chords. We will strum along with our right hand. One, two, three, four. Going down. Got me way down in jail on my knees. 
Once you have mastered switching chords with the left hand, you will want to watch the free video called Playing Beginning Banjo Rhythm. This will show you how to get that percussive banjo rhythm sound when playing rhythm chords. If you wish to go further on your journey in playing with others, check out our premium series of backup lessons. You will learn how to play and find all the chords you'll ever need to play hundreds of songs. This includes all of the major, minor, and seventh chords up and down the neck. It will also teach you a couple of different right hand rhythm patterns. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to email me. Good luck and great picking. This is Jeff Howald.